Yo, what up? It's Laura Homeboy. And if you've been watching me for the past eight months, you know that it's about that time I just had my first kid. He's a little boy. His name is Jimmy, after Jimi Hendrix. J-I-M-I, little bitch. <laughs> nah, but it's about this video is about childhood, and I'm going to make one video about it. Uh, I'm going to upload another video about how the nurses treat you and how doctors respond to you being a father and how much they don't give a fuck and postpartum daddy depression. Actually, I don't know in what order I'm going to upload these videos, but it's definitely going to be up here. I'm drinking on that back of the rack. Woo. Nah, but all right, all right. My first tip when it comes to fatherhood, if you're a virgin, stay a virgin. Keep it in your motherfucking pants. Never have sex again for the rest of your life. Never. If you're not a millionaire, if you don't got like $50,000 to invest in a fucking liquor store or, or some ill ass shit, don't have kids, B. Don't keep fucking these bitches. Not raw. It's not fun. What you need to do, you need to go on fleshlight.com and fuck that shit. You need to get you a... I told you not to have sex, but that's pretty unrealistic. Because I don't not have sex right now. But I'm very careful. Very careful. What you need to do is, you need to get a, a Asian woman with a little vagina like this big. And you need to wear a condom. Wear a condom. And drink a lot of alcohol so you don't come and fuck her. Because if she has a tight vagina and spit on it and is wet, it'll feel just the same. So, number one, stay a virgin if you're a virgin. Number two, never have sex. Number three, get an Asian woman. And number four, wear a condom. Don't have kids. If you're selfish... As I am, if you're a fucking narcissist and you masturbate to yourself in the mirror like I do because I love myself so much and I'm so sexy and you like to fucking turn up and spend all your money on fucking Dragon Ball Z hats, don't have kids, don't. I'm too selfish to have a child. Every time he cries, it seems like every time I get my dick sucked, he cries. I told you my puppy Gaia was the ultimate cock blocker because she's really needy and every time we start cuddling and kissing she fucking jumps and licks our face and we have to smack her. She's coming over here right now. Okay, no, she's not. It's worse than that. She literally will lick my ass when we fuck. When me and Liz fuck. She comes up and she like licks my leg or my hand. Or tries to lick my ear. I'm like, bruh, you just killed it. I'm softy mix soft soft right now. But, no, okay. It's really, it's, it, it, it is that bad. It's that bad. So, there's no exaggerations here. Don't have kids, son. If you're selfish. If you're needy. If you are not a giving, loving person. Never have kids. Okay, so. Number one, why? Because babies cry. And I didn't, I knew, I grew up with everybody in my whole family is younger than me. I knew that babies cry. I mean, adults cry, but they can't talk. You gotta, they shit like 20 times a fucking day, literally. They eat for fucking like, okay, the first three days, he was asleep for like 12, for like 20 hours a day. She woke him up to eat. Suck him, put him back to sleep, change his diaper, wrap him up in a blanket. But just think about how it is dealing with a stupid person, a stupid person who can't communicate their ideas to you. And they say, um, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? Um, uh, smacking their teeth and shit. It's like, um, you, you know what I mean? That's, that's bad. That's bad. A baby can't even say 
Shit. It's too, it's too loud in the house. Ah. I need to be changed. Ah. I need to be, I'm hungry. Ah. I'm bored. He cries because he's bored. And he needs me to dance with him. I listen to Bailey Funk and trap music and dance with him in my arms and everybody thinks it's adorable. But I'm really hurting inside. I am. No. Okay, so. Another thing is how people treat you. People, when you are a parent, people, they treat you like, and it's only been like three weeks. He was born, um, he was born on Friday the 13th at 1.15 in the morning. Only three weeks. People start making decisions for you and labeling you. I had a fucking, I thought I really had something with this chick, but I, you know, I auto, I have a family now, apparently, that I don't know about. People always, you're a dad. You can't do that. You smoke still? Oh my God, you're drunk? You have a kid. You got a baby on the way. You fucking know you can't do that. You need to go take care of your family. You got a fucking baby mom at the house, the mother of your child, and you're out here doing this and doing this. And I, I, I have a good relationship with the guy at the liquor store. Why? Because I spend like $500 there a month. But he still gives me those looks, and he lost a tad bit of respect for me, and I don't give a fuck. Because you work at a liquor store, son, and you didn't go to college. But anyways... Sneak dissing me. People posting little friendly shit on Facebook. The most annoying thing, you don't need to be doing that. Go take care of your son. Bitch, you're sterile. Stop telling me to go take care of my son with your repressed anger having as. Number one, when people have kids, don't assume anything. No, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm always going to do whatever the fuck. If you didn't know, you know what The Rock says. I am going to tee up. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to fuck Mexican bitches with clown tattoos. While the white bitches say I sound so rude. And I'm going to be like, I'm from Atlanta and the suburbs. Bitch, I talk like you. So don't tell me what I can and can't do. This kid, I'm not going to run off on him probably. Because... I had that happen to me, and many of my friends have had that happen to them, and it fucked us up a little bit or a lot. I'm not gonna do that, but everybody out here, they're obsessed with their children. I'm not gonna be obsessed with him at any point. Okay, he's a baby. I get pretty compulsive about the things that I do sometimes, but. Everybody, females saying that they're married to their son, my number one girl is my fucking, my daughter, okay, your, your, your son is a priority, your kid is a priority, that is beautiful, that's necessary, but where the fuck, where do you come in, I learned from a young age, look, I'm important to my mom, she loves the shit out of me, and I can smell it. It's an invisible color that connects us. But she didn't make all these sacrifices that everybody's making. She still, she didn't have a social life because she worked a lot. And she didn't like people. And she talks to the same people she grew up with on the phone for like hours a day. Just like I do. But at the same time. You know, mom, I need $20 so I can go to the movies. Mom, I need like $50 so I can go on a field trip. I couldn't do everything because, you know what? She busted her ass this month, so she's going to buy the pair of shoes that she wanted for the past fucking two months. She's going to buy it. She's been saving up for this Louis Vuitton wallet or this bag or these hats, and I appreciated that shit. I appreciated the fact that she wasn't obsessed with me. 
and everybody why are you dressing your kid like this why are you treating them like that why are you calling them your 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 husband or your wife that's weird b i'm not gonna be i don't have to be obsessed with my kid for me to be a good parent and i am a good fucking parent so far I don't, I haven't killed him yet, and I shouldn't, I really shouldn't, because I can't get drunk like I want to, and I can't make music, and the fans are suffering, and I'm sad, a lot, and I don't take that many showers, now, but I don't think the state of Illinois will like that, so we're just gonna keep him alive for now, I'm just kidding, that's not funny, but, I change his diapers quick. You know how fat I could change the diaper in less than 30 seconds. Boom. We don't got to put the dick cream on him anymore because he was circumcised and we had to. Now we done. His umbilical cords has fallen off. I took him outside to see the full moon. I played with him in the rain a little bit. I wetted his face and his feet. I washed him before. I... 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 I play with him, he sleeps on my chest. It's amazing. And now I feel really shitty about all the negative things I said. Honestly, <coughs> honestly, I can't burn incense, I can't meditate, can't get my dick sucked, can't fuck, can't cuddle. I gotta give it some time, because I know, you know, he can't do shit. He can't, I can't teach him how to juggle and, you know, teach him how to make beats right now. Because he's an infant. What the fuck? I don't know what's wrong with this shit. I haven't smoked this in like two weeks. But... The positive things are, when he's sleeping, he's beautiful. Uh, I could use him to get the bitches, probably. Um, he adds a very, a very interesting chapter to my story. I can teach him all kind of ill-ass shit to contribute to the world. Um... He is a very good motivator for me to stop smoking and drinking. He's not working. He's not doing his job right now because he makes me want to do the opposite and take my anger out on other things, people, and places, and animals. I'm just kidding. That sounded really psychotic. But um, I suppose him being alive in my life can be positive it's just not positive right now it's a lot of work it's, there's no fun involved probably for the first year and I'm not a very um, I'm not even gonna say that about myself I'm beautiful I'm happy and I love myself but it's hard work bro it's hard work and I remember the exact moment when I came in her. We were about to go to the the Dead concert downtown. It was July the 3rd. We were about to go to the concert, but Busting Nuts is a very, is the, is the opposite of motivation. I busted that nut, I had one drink, smoked a cigarette, and we woke up the next day. That's all I remember. And we went to the Dead concert the next day. And I knew in my soul that time that I busted in her that she was pregnant. That that was going to be the one that got her pregnant. And when we went to Planned Parenthood and they told us the exact day that I busted in her, I was like, sweet baby Jesus. I fucking knew it. <laughs> 